The survival and development of human society depend on water. But one of the biggest countries in the world, China, seems to have too much of it, and at the same time a shortage of it, and now they're thinking of ways to deal with it. The country's 1.4 billion population needs water to thrive, but it has become limited and unevenly distributed. But being one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world, they found quite an extraordinary solution for that. And what exactly is the solution? Creating sponge cities. Let's have a deeper look at that. In July 2021, the Chinese city of Zhengzhou, Henan, battled the heaviest rain in millennia and devastating floods that killed at least 31 people and displaced 1.24 million residents. Since early June, 24 provinces across China have suffered severe flooding, with over 443 rivers flooded, 33 of which have swelled beyond historic levels, with more than 23.85 million people affected. Not only that, due to the pollution, water quality is worsening, meaning much of the water available is unusable. Insufficient management of local resources plays a part too. And to tackle this situation, China is on its way to adopting widespread sponge city concepts across the country that could reduce these risks in the country. First of all, what's a sponge city actually? It's a nature-based solution that uses the landscape to retain water at its source, slow down water flow, and clean it throughout the process. This program aims to use previous pavements, rain gardens, green roofs, urban wetlands, and other innovations to absorb water during storms. The soil then purifies that water and gradually releases it, much like a sponge. Sponge city developments seek to control and mitigate flooding, water pollution, and water scarcity in urban spaces as water becomes China's most critical resource. These developments are a new type of Chinese eco-city that offers a holistic strategy to hopefully improve the ongoing development and urbanization process by explicitly considering the urban water cycle. Yu Kongjian, a professor of landscape architecture at Peking University, is credited as the main architect of the sponge city concept. He has spent more than 20 years campaigning for their adoption in China. The basic principle of sponge cities is to give water enough room and time to drain into the soil where it falls, rather than channeling it away as quickly as possible and sequestering it into huge dams. Instead of building fast-flowing water channels, sponge cities slow down the water in meandering streams without concrete walls and with room to spread out during heavy deluges. Professor Yu's sponge city concept promotes a more harmonious relationship between humans and nature that in effect gives the water more room to soak in and pool in urban areas, such as parks that are dry in some seasons and become shallow ponds or channels in rainy seasons. Floods are not enemies. We can make friends with floods, he says. Though gray infrastructure of concrete, steel, pipes, and pumps can be necessary to solve urgent individual problems, it consumes huge amounts of concrete and energy, lacks resilience, and often accumulates a higher risk of disaster. It breaks the connection between man and nature, according to the water management genius. The Chinese government has already chosen 16 pilot cities and allocated to each of them between 400 and 600 million yuan, which is around 55 million for the implementation of innovative water management strategies. That means that the government has invested more than 12 billion in the program since 2014 to help cities create sponge features on 20% of the land, with the goal of retaining and reusing 80% of annual precipitation by the 2030s. More than ever, facing global climate change and destructive industrial technologies, we have to rethink the way we build our cities, the way we treat water and nature, and even the way we define civilization. You shared his thoughts. A sponge city follows the philosophy of innovation, that a city can solve water problems instead of creating them. In the long run, sponge cities will reduce carbon emissions and help fight climate change. Xiao Baoxing, a former vice minister of housing and urban rural development, said, the sponge city concept is ahead of its time, and much research, policy changes, investment opportunities, and progressive design solutions are needed to resolve the range of challenges for its necessary implementation. What do you think? I'll see you at another time in another video. Stay in the loop.